Why do I have to get into spiritual warfare? I'll give you one today and I'll continue in our next Bible study. Because of your star. Please subscribe to the Demi Fruitful channel. Because of your star. Because of your star. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Are you listening to what I'm saying? Every man in life has got a star. A starless man is a useless man. Once you are created on earth, you have a star. God said to Abraham in Genesis 22 17, He said, Thy seed in blessing I will bless you. Genesis 22 17. And in multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven and the sand upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate. There is a star of your life. And I'm going to explain what the star represents and what the star means. Because in life, and that is why we have a problem. You see, a lot of people have no understanding of the functionalities of life itself. Numbers chapter 24 verse 17. The Bible makes, it understand that, makes us understand that Jesus was the star. The scepter shall rise out of Israel. The star out of Jacob. The Bible was, was trying to tell, liken soul winners to the stars in Daniel chapter 12 and verse 3. That they that be wise shall shine like the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. When Jesus was born, the Bible said there were certain men who were astrologers. Who are astrologers? Astrologers are those who study the stars, the moon, and by reason of the stars and the moon, they can predict what will happen on the earth. Do you understand that? They use the stars and the moon to predict what will happen on earth. So they study the stars. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 2, these men came and they said, we have seen Jesus. Matthew chapter 2 verse 2, we have seen a star in the east. Matthew 2, 2. Matthew 2, 7. Matthew 2, 9. Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen a star. So what is your star? Your star is what reveals what you will become. The star of Jesus they saw was a revelation of him becoming the king of the Jews. Your star is your future, is your identity, is the unveiling of your destiny. So when you see a man's star by his star, you can tell what it turns out to be. Never assess or intend, never intend to assess a future you are not prepared for. I was talking to one of my sons yesterday on the phone. I was advising him. He was about to go into a venture. He was so angry. I would do that. I said, come. This thing you're about to, you know, break church, do this, do that one, expand to prove to the occultic people that God is with you. I said, I understand you're angry. I said, but you see, I've, seen, I've sat down in life and I've thought about many things and I'm seeing life more than you. You see, I told him, I said, Percy, where one summer sort? You go first check in one land. <laughs> Because there is a way. <laughs> this is 33 years I've been holding microphone. So if I talk to you, listen. When you want tumble, back dive, they call it flip. You first check. Do you understand what I'm saying? I say, so calm down, relax, relax, relax. You don't rush to liquid soup. You calm plan check the app effect this is likely to happen that is likely to happen prepare for it prepare for backlash before you take care of this step prepare for backlash prepare and secure then you take a move if you don't have the capacity for the backlash don't even take the move are you following me don't even take the move you have to be prepared for it you have to be properly prepared for it because there will be any reactions and the reaction will come when you least expect so you have to be prepared hello so the stars whatever happens to a man is determined
determined by the functionality of a star. Your star reveals your glory. First Corinthians 15 41. Your star, there is, there's the glory of the star, the glory of the moon. He said, But each star differs in glory. There's one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, another glory of the stars. One star different from another in glory. There are different kinds of stars. There are shooting stars. Boom. Those are the ones you just see from nowhere. Boom. There are people that have such stars. Shooting stars. Boom. You never heard of them before. All of a sudden, boom. shooting stars. Shooting stars. I'm telling you about warfare concerning your star. But I have to explain your, what the star is so that when we begin to connect it to prayer, you have a proper understanding. There are twinkling stars. Very inconsistent. They twinkle. They twinkle. They are not doing bad. They are not doing good. Just on the average realm. There are shining stars. They shine. In the midst of darkness, there are falling stars. There are superstars. Superstars. And there is one who called the day star. First Peter 1 19. The day star. And also there are wandering stars. James chapter 1. Jude chapter 1 verse 13. Wandering stars are people who are inconsistent. Whose life is full of shame. James 1 13. Their life is full of shame. They are called wandering stars. Your star reveals your destination. Your star reveals your assignment. Your star unveils your assignment, your accomplishment. So the star of Jesus was that he was born to be what? To be what? King. They said, Who, where is he that was born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star. So by star, we can now define what he is born to be. So when your star is revealed, I told you the story of a woman who gave birth to a child and she was nursing the child she couldn't leave the child for one minute because the child was crying all of a sudden a friend of hers came less than two minutes another friend came she said oh, thank god you poor too can you look after the baby let me just rush and shower so one of them carried the child the other was cuddling the child she ran to the bathroom the next thing they were fighting the child was crying they were fighting themselves what's going on not fully done she ran out what's happening now he said can you imagine can you imagine this child has seven star she took five and gave me only two the woman said star five two he said at least she can take four and give me three the mother said wait now wait we star he said this child now we saw the star is seven she took five she gave me two my child Say yes. She just went and locked the door. Say today, people will die here. You collect with star from who? There are there are there are enemies of the star. There are star hunters. In warfare, one of the things you must do is to handle star hunters. They are soothsayers. They are magicians, they are sorcerers. One of the things Daniel had to deal with in his day was astrologers. Daniel was confronted with them. Daniel chapter 4 verse 3. Daniel chapter 5 verse 7. Daniel was confronted with astrologers. Daniel 1 verse 20. Daniel 2 verse 27. Daniel was confronted with astrologers. These are men that study the star. By reason of what they... Now, how many of you, this has happened to you before. Let's get practical. How many of you have walked on the road? You are walking on the road. You have seen somebody stop you. They look at you and they start telling you about your life. Has it happened to anybody here? And whatever they'll tell you is accurate. Huh? They'll tell you things. They'll tell you things. You're like, what? They are not pastors. Oh. You know what they are? Those are astrologers. They can look at your palm. And they'll look up. They'll start talking. They are not walking by the spirit of God. It is their father, the devil, who caused your problem that is revealing it to them. The 
the problem you're going through is their father the devil and when it's time for solution they start telling you strange things when you get back carry rain water the first this one that comes are you have you had things like that that's where you now know that this one is not of god so they will talk to you accurately you can go to some places they will tell you everything about yourself you say what when it's time for solution am i communicating when it's time for solution prescription for solution that is when you know that these ones have no connection to god sorcerers one of the things Paul had to deal with in Acts chapter 19, the Bible said Paul had to deal with sorcerers. He was casting out devils. Then one man who has a son called Skeva. Sorry, one man called Skeva. He had seven sons. I told you the story that this man, the Bible said one Skeva. The seven sons will look at Paul. Paul was casting out devils. Their father was a sorcerer. They were not connected to anything no satan no god there are people that live themselves like that i don't put i not put my for anything my mind clean you are a joker say me as you see so my mind clean i don't i don't wish people evil i don't think bad of anybody okay now this man they look at what paul was doing paul was casting out devils Casting out devils, casting out demons from people. They say, ah, we are going to try this thing. Now, if you want to try, why not try with fever? Why not try with leg pain? They wanted to experiment. Jesus is Lord. And they decided it's like somebody who wants to, you know, start life. When you want to start, um, you want to start English. That's what they call premier. Right? They give you premier. Queen premier. They didn't start from there. They wanted to rehearse. They went to carry a madman. What a wrong practical. The Bible said this man was mad. And if that was all, it would have been good. They would have prayed for him on the street. No. They carried him into a house. That was even understandable. They locked the door. Now, now, you see, that, that madman was just an agent of the devil. When they were carrying him, he didn't react. <laughs> when they carried him to the house, he didn't react. He waited for them to lock the door. <laughs> when they locked the door, the Bible says, and the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped. Go to verse, go to verse 15. Go to verse 15. Go to verse 14. Okay. Go to verse 13. Something I'm looking for. And certain vagabond Jews exhausted, took upon themselves to call over them which had evil spirits in the name of Jesus. They took upon themselves. It was a profession. And we see that happen today. When somebody fails in certain area of life, he will say, I think God is calling me. Say, I think the reason I'm not doing well is because I have not answered the call. I've been running from God. Run? When God called us, we were not allowed to run. These days, people say, I've been running from God. Run? If God really calls you, where can you run to? No, in trying to run from God, you are running to God. In trying to run from God, you are actually running to God. When Jonah was trying to run from God, he didn't know he was running to God. As Jonah was thrown from the boat, there was a whale with his mouth open. So it's either you go God's way or you enter God's will. <laughs> there is God's way. And there is God's will. But that was still God at work. You know what God did? The people of Nineveh, they worship the marine God. They go to the river every time and they worship the river. They bow to their gods. Jonah thought he was running from God, but he was actually running to God. So, the, the fish swallowed Jonah for three days. Jonah was inside the belly of the fish. That was a type of Christ that he will be buried in the belly of the earth for three days and he will come out. 
So Jesus was in the um, Jonah was in the belly of the fish, and the people of Nineveh went to the, the river and they were worshiping their God. All of a sudden, the fish came out, opened his mouth, and brought out. As soon as Jonah came out, they started worshiping Jonah, worshiping Jonah. God knew that was the only way to get the attention of the people of Nineveh. So he had to make sure it was a fish, not a cow. He had to make sure it was a fish, not a snake. So the fish swallowed Jonah. As soon as he opened his mouth jonah walked out and said repent they said we hear you we hear you they thought it was their god who had sent a message to them not knowing it was the most high thinking you are running from god you are running to god you are running to god you can't run from god you can't run from god hallelujah I say hallelujah. Let me tell you something about how these people operate. Star hunters, they know and can read your stars. Stop all this, bra this bragging. My child of God, nothing can happen to me. Listen, I know you are protected, but be wise. I know you are secured, but don't take chances. They can read your star. They read. Are you, are you more anointed than Jesus? Your, your, your physical emergence was the copulation of a man and a woman. Jesus, there was no copulation of a man. He was 100% man, 100% God. They read the star. Where is he that is born the king of the Jew? We have seen his star. So no matter who you are, they can read it. They defined it. And also, they, they saw the star from the east. Far away from him. So they can even sight a star from afar. It can be spotted. Somebody can be in America, in London, and from there can tell you what you are saying. So distance is not a problem to star hunters. Which are getting something. Star can be stolen. Stars can be stolen. Stars can be weakened. Stars can be weakened. Like the star of Joseph. It was weakened because he was talking too much. The things he didn't even understand about himself. He was talking about it. So they were weakening the star. They made sure he landed in the, in the, in the pit. Later he landed in the pit. That was a weakened star. Until God showed up for him. Stars can be weakened. And that's the generation we are living in now. It's not every revelation that you must share. There are some things God will show you. How can what God show you, you don't understand it. You expect somebody else to understand it. Can you imagine somebody will tell you a revelation, tell you and tell you and tell you, say, this revelation I just is so. I dream. I climb up. Maybe six, one, four, two stand. I come the four. I come up, I come up with my eye. Wait in me. <laughs> what does it mean? So one day somebody was telling me a dream he had in the office. Fourteen minutes. In the dream, he slept and dreamt. How can somebody dream in a dream? He said he slept in the dream. He now went somewhere. Then I went in. I was just looking at him. He explained the dream. I said, one night. He said, Papa, calm down, calm down. When he thought, 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 he finished. He said, what does it mean? <laughs> I said, I don't know. <laughs> this one is fever. You have fever. All your dream don't make sense. Dream of Philly station. You buy fuel. You now enter the car. You continue on the journey again. You know, so I say you have fever. I'm, you're, you're, I'm having a headache. There are things God tells you until you have a proper understanding of it. Don't voice it. Because God can show you something in sequence. He can show you now. Don't be in a hurry to share it. Keep praying. He can show you again tomorrow. And sometime after three, four, five days before you are able to put all of them together to understand what God is actually saying. And this is the problem we have. You see, God can show you today 
what he wants to do in your life in 20 years time but he will show you today as if it's tomorrow so if you're not careful that's why some people have run to become pastors some have run to start businesses run to do things and they spend 10 years of their life in the wilderness and they start binding demons binding say no the problem you have was not demons you were premature how many of you know that if you carry a day old chick you know chick a little um chicken a day old chick you carry it and you start speaking in tongue grow 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 by the anointing of the holy ghost grow by the grace i'm under grow it's not going to grow because that is not the process so when people are not yet matured everybody's in a hurry to do some business hurry to enter start a project hurry to do one or two things and you're not even cut out and mature yet for it the hair so long as a child does not differ from a servant galatians 4 verse 1 although it's lord of all stays that two tutors and teachers to the time appointed of the father amen star can be diverted star can be diverted okay let me say this this ministry believes in deliverance a child's placenta or what they call umbilical cord can be used to control his destiny where was yours buried who dedicated you when you were born there are some of you as grown as you are not till now you have not been there we will carry you <laughs> today we are going to carry you after this service i will tell ushers they will carry you will wrap you inside one wrapper <laughs> i will dedicate you <laughs> some have not been dedicated even now they were never dedicated what is the meaning of your name if your name doesn't make sense change it there's a name that doesn't make sense and there's some of us who just pick some name because they sound nice anastasia anastasia if you know what anesthetics mean you understand some people just pick some name because they sound nice so you've got to have your name needs to have meaning once it sounds stupid or it doesn't have a good meaning no drop it hello a star can be stolen there are areas someone's hair can be used to divert the star and that's why i told people there are four major areas you have concentrated demons i'm sorry not all of them but majorly number one markets if god opens your eyes in the spirit you'll see the witchcraft trans that the witchcraft transaction going in the market number two saloons that's why wise people are spiritual will go with their own comb go with their own stuff finish give it to them don't take it and start cleaning uh, in this church i've pre picked out somebody by prophecy who the lord said he has a barbing salon where they shave their hair and they use the he he gathers people's hair and takes to the you remember that and the young man walked out number three maternities When your wife is in labor about to give birth as a man you need to begin to pray all of these things are not things to make you afraid they are just things to make you aware don't be deceived where's the person no no you know the killer now they kill him my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge what what somebody does not know will not kill the person that's what kills the person if you knew it it won't kill you they are destroyed there are things we've seen a pastor i'll show you a pastor and the wife they were having lots of issues the pastor's life was you know zigzag so the wife was confused all of us were able me i was even confused prayed for him he has ministry Ministry will start, it will close. Today we we'll get just get angry. We we'll tell the wife to go. After a while, okay, come back. The life was just disorderly. 
There were so many issues with which I can't even get into. One day I got so interested. I told him, I said, be on your way. I want to see you. That day I was so interested. It's when he came. I was in Benin then he came. I said, let's go somewhere. We drove to a pastor's office. I told the pastor to excuse us. I locked the door. I told him, remove your shirt. He said, sir. I said, remove your shirt. I pulled up my shoes, took up my stockings. I said, give me your hand. We started praying. We started praying. More than 30 minutes, going to 45 minutes, going to an hour, we are praying. I said, until God show me what your problem is today. Both of us will not leave this office. I said, because this is your life. It's a mockery to me. We started 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I was getting. I felt the presence of God. And the Lord said, I should see that. I sat down. The Lord opened my eyes. I saw that when he was born, the person that did, you know they call on Mugo, was the grandmother. The grandmother was actually the one they gave the umbilical cord to go and bury. And the Lord showed me, while I was praying, I saw a woman, while I sat there, I saw a woman open a black bulletin bag and brought out things inside. I didn't see what was inside. And she put them in the fire, in the pot, and was cooking them. So I didn't understand. So I asked him a question, where's your mom? He said, the mom is in Bielsa. He talked, talked, talked. I said, okay, can I talk to her? He called. The mom was not too fine. I prayed. I said, mommy, do you remember? He said, yeah, he don't tell. He don't tell. He don't tell. He don't tell. After a while, she stopped that she was going to call us back. She called us. She didn't see, talk to the grandmother because that one had passed out. She spoke to that one's younger sister who told her what that one did. What was the story? When she called back, the mother was crying. And the mother said that that one said she was in the house. The grandmother brought something, the polythene bag. The day the child was born, he boiled the, the thing she brought and ate it. So I said, here! Yeah! I got it. I told him, I said, wear your shirt. He started crying. I said, no, it's finished. What is revealed is redeemed. We began to renounce. I heard him say, say this after me. Say this after me. Say this after me. Say this after me. He was saying it. Boom! That was an open destiny. Life turned around. Today is sick. Tomorrow is well. Everything about him was, was upside down. But life changed. Because that thing that was... I told you I was praying for a lady. I said, come out. She came out. I said, the Lord said the dog is dead. You may have heard me give that testimony. The dog is dead. I didn't know what I was saying. Me, I didn't know. But I just know I heard dog is dead. I said, the dog is dead. She said, hey, amen. I said, the dog is dead. Amen. You know, there's some things I'll say. I'm going to the altar. I say, wait till, wait till, wait till be this now. What have I said? What have I even said? So I said that. She got a visit on Monday after the service. She got a visit. Grandmother came and began to apologize to her. The Habalis also came with her and was apologizing. What was the apology? When the girl was born, they projected her stars into a dog. Now, that dog grew to like five, six years. They bought another one, transferred. That girl, beautiful girl, but once people start talking about marriage, she's not interested. She starts sleeping with their friends. What was in her? A dog was projected into her and she was projected to the dog. She had lost relationship because something just comes on her to be promiscuous. And that was what God saw that night and said, the dog is dead. But it happened at infancy. So, there are so many people today. Are you ready to pray? There are so many people whose life have been tempered with stars can be exchanged. First Kings chapter 3. There were two men that are children. The Bible says one of them slept on a child and the child died. Oversleep can kill your dream. Oversleep. There are people that sleep so much till, they, till something dies. Sleep, 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 sleep. You sleep so much. In the night you will sleep. Early morning, you have early morning sleep. Then you have afternoon, you call that one siesta. Your mates are seeing Angel Gabriel, you are seeing Esther. You are seeing Esther. Others are seeing Angel Gabriel, others are seeing Angel Michael, you, you are seeing Esther. She said, no, 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 Papa, no. I don't joke with my money sleep. How can Papa tell somebody to be praying around three that time when sleep they sweet? Oh, 
there are people that there is there is there is a spirit of sleep that's on their life they can stand and sleep they can stand and while they are standing they are gone some can sleep with their eyes open They are sleeping, get to the room, carry them from a story building in their sleep and rush them outside from a story building, release them. They will land on the ground. Hey! Mm. <laughs> Is that bad?